YouTubers, fellow RCers, Marshall here, Budget Guy RC. And as you can see, today we have a couple of packages. Got one right here, another one right here. A couple of items I bought, do a little bit of work on one of my RCs. Give me a second, I'm going to get these opened up, we're going to show them to you. Then we're going to give you a little reason why I bought these specific items. Now, these tires and foams, they're from a company called Wo, Womart. They're on uh, eBay. Really good price. Now, if these, if these are knockoffs, then they're knockoffs all the way down to the names. Just saying. But, good tread pattern. And on the side of the tire, besides saying 1.9, right here, I know you can't see it because my lighting's not that good. Right there it says RC4WD. Right up here, it says Prowler XL Scale 1.9. Like I said, Nice tread pattern. I got a set of four. Of course, they come with foams. Let's see. There you go. They got black foams in them. Alright, that's the tires and foams. But I'm going to tell you, I love the tread pattern. Because it looks like something you would see on a real a real 4x4 truck. You know, I just love the tread pattern. Anywho, then, I'm just going to take one out of the package. I picked up a set of four of these. And these are, of course, aluminum shocks. And there you go, showing they work. Aluminum shocks, in other words, aluminum cap, aluminum body. The only thing that's plastic is the ends and I think the bottom piece that the spring sits on. I think those are plastic. But the body that holds the oil and the cap and the part that tightens them up. In other words, aluminum right here, aluminum cap. Aluminum right here, collar on it to tighten down the spring tension. And aluminum body. And then down here on the end is plastic, and up here at the very top is the plastic. But I got a set of four of those off of eBay. And that set of tires and wheels. I'm going to get ready and show you what it's for. And there's the answer to the question. That's what the shocks are for. And that's what the tires are for. Set you back down for a minute. I just wanted to give you a whole view of the truck. This one here. My last video of this. I took it out and ran it with these tires. Took it out and ran it with those tires. And everything else is stuck on this truck. Other than those tires and rims. I took it up to Paris Mountain State Park. If you recall my last video with this. I uh, basically said out here at Paris Mountain State Park. In the rain, on a rainy day, testing some new tires. Well, the new bead locks there, and those new tires were what I was testing. Well, everybody said, you know, it looked like they did pretty good, but I felt like they could have done a little more, in my opinion. So, I decided to go online and order these for it instead. And I think. They're going to do pretty good. About the same wideness. And close to the same height. So I'm hoping, you know, they'll do pretty good. And the shocks on this one, from the factory, they don't hold oil. And instead of working on them and trying to fix them to make them hold oil, I thought it would be easier. See? Shocks are 
not great on this one as you can see I thought it would be and see they don't want to stay up see just fall back down when you let go of them see I thought it would be better just to go ahead and get some oil fill shocks for it so I got me that new set of tires I'm gonna put on these bead locks here those new shocks I'm gonna put them on this truck and then we'll give this one a run as soon as possible after that. And we'll see where, what it's like then. Now don't get me wrong, I like this little truck. I like it a lot. This is that uh, 112th scale Thunder Tiger Toyota Helix that they offered. I like the little truck. It runs good. It's actually, you know, pretty competent on the trail. It does pretty good. To me... The three things that were letting it down, which were the tires. The ones that came on it were just too small. They were like 1.55s. They were just a little too small. They had good traction. Hold on a second, I'll show you one. They had good traction as far as I could tell. Everything I ran it on, they did good on as far as traction. There's the stocker. Pretty good tread compound, pretty soft. It had real good traction, like I said, from what I could tell. But, they were on the bit of a skinny side. And I thought for an off-road tire, I wanted them to be a little bit chunkier, a little wider. You know, give it a little bit better uh, grip pattern, a little bit grip, better grip patch, as I should say. You know, the more patch you got on the ground, you know, the better you are, in my opinion, when you're trying to go up something or, you know, around something. A little bit wider tire, to me, it helps with the truck's stability a little bit better. To me, they were just too skinny and a little too short because the truck really sat down low. And this truck, hold on a sec, has a really low pumpkin, as you can see. You can see right there, it's got a pretty low pumpkin, right there at the top of the pumpkin. I mean, I'm hitting it already just up to my knuckles right there. And, and that's with these bigger tires on it. So, I'm like, imagine how low it was when it had the other ones on it. That was my only complaint when I bought this truck. I ran it the first couple times. I was getting hung up on the pumpkins a good bit. But the tires had good grip. And if I back back down... And get that where that pumpkin didn't catch, the tires would carry me up. But it was so low that it got caught up on like every other thing I went across. So I bought them bead locks online. I already had that set of tires right there. I put them on there and went out and took it for a run. It did make it do better as far as because it gave it a little more height under the pumpkins. But the tires, to me, didn't have as good a grip as the originals. So now, I'm going to change to this third set of tire, and we're going to go ahead and change out them shocks. We're going to put these tires on there. We're going to put those shocks on there. And when we get a chance one day in the near future, we'll get it out for a run and see what we think, and we'll let y'all see it, and y'all can give y'all's opinion. But again, thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, share, smack that bell over there to the side so you can keep notified on everything that I do put up all the content and as always I thank you so much for watching have a great day have fun RCing bunch of guy when we out peace